very hardworking girl, simple regular Chinese girl, but I keep watching a lot of tutorials you're online. Not, you're not really a regular Chinese girl. There are not I many, oh, you not many walking, yeah, not many walking around <laughs> like you. I actually have to say, I, I actually appreciate that because not from a from a pervy man point of view, but from, you know, everybody gives me shit for wearing a suit all the time. That's oh, what no, I do. In China, it's very important to look yeah. professional. Everything must look professional. Yeah, but I think it's important that you stick to your image and it, you can brand yourself that way and it's a very good way to get your message across. So I just want to say I appreciate it from that point of view. Well, hey there guys and welcome to another video. I have a very special guest on the show today. Hi, this is Sexy Cyborg. Oh, it's very hot out. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very hot. So we're here in Huajian Bay, the famous electronics district here in Shenzhen. And she's going to show me around some of her favorite places and we're going to meet some of her friends and we're going to talk about women in the IT world here in China. Cool. So the first place we're going to go and check out is her friend's 3D printing yeah, sort of uh, company, store. right? Yeah, uh, just a store. A booth. Okay. Yeah. A company, they're not, he's like more like a reseller. Right, and right, And then right. he has a uh, sales girl in the front, but she's very uh, knowledgeable. Mm. Like everybody who go in and then ask a question, she can answer that. This is, the, this is the whole point of this video really, is I would like to show all of you that here in Shenzhen, in China, when you're dealing with electronics, it's actually not that strange to see a lot of women in the industry. So you'll have women who are very knowledgeable, you know, not only just salespeople, but you'll see people soldering and doing all sorts of interesting yeah, things. Yeah, like I post, I have a post on Twitter. I told them a lot of the components and little things. I showed them factory picture, like most of them are made by women in here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. So let's go and take a look. So for those of you who are not familiar with Huajian Bay, Huajian Bay is the biggest electronics market in China, possibly in the world. And pretty much every kind of electronic thing you can think of is sold from the component level all the way up to sort of big devices and things, right? Yeah, a lot of people ask me, oh, what should I do in Shenzhen? I'm like, of course, come to Huajian Bay. Uh, okay. Because, you know, like, it's not like an entertainment city like uh, Shanghai or other places, but in Shenzhen, it's, it is a hardware paradise. When, when like, a lot of the um, counterplays and uh, uh, they, they're much cheaper than the, uh, the real things, uh, like the real electronics, the official stuff. So when you come here, of course, like a lot of girls, they buy handbags. You can come here to shop for earphones. Yeah. A lot of unique stuff, like they copy it and then they got, uh, they sell it, but it's like much, much cheaper. Yeah. So in here, you can buy tons of stuff, but with much lower price. Prices. Yeah, and you can get things like OEM IC chips and, uh, you know, microcontrollers, whatever you like. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's the, the cool oh, thing. This way? Okay. Yeah, this way. So that's the 3D printing place. They have a very big logo there. So when Excellent. you come to uh, the HQ Mart, you will, see, you will find it on the second floor. So I'm here with a 3D printing expert. How about you introduce your shop to everybody? Hi, everyone. <laughs> 我们这个电视可以做卖3D打印机和做3D打印的服务。3D打印机我们主要是销售FDM的打印机。然后做服务我们可以FDM和SLA我们都可以做。现在主要是SLA我们会做的更多一些。So if you're in Huajian Bay and you're interested in 3D printing, this is definitely the shop to come to. And if you want to uh, provide 3D service, you can contact to me. Thank you. Okay, so who are we going to visit next? Uh, my friend AJ. Yeah. He's, um, he's, he calls himself the Arduino guy. The Arduino guy, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, he sells some uh, Shanzai stuff also. Yeah. But mostly they have real stuff and uh, Raspberry Pi and other models of the PCB board. Right. I will show you, you can see and the make block, he also sell the, you know, the cake for you to assemble and learn. I have oh, to get nice. some stuff from him also. Okay, excellent. That sounds good. So Naomi, I see you're active on the Adafruit community and uh, places like that. Are there many other female makers like yourself? They are, you know, a lot of people, but in China, a very few hobbies like me only devoted most of the time for uh, uh, on in making. A lot of them they have like a regular job 
yeah. in the office, so you know they are not as committed as me. But a lot of them, like engineer, we have a tons of like uh, teachers, engineers. They are all women. They work in the industry, but just you know, they don't show in the front line. Me, I'm very high profile. I put right. myself out there because I want to encourage other women to do the yeah. same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I want to encourage uh, more people to make, not uh, just women, but mostly my followers are women. So I'm. Happy, uh, we're happy about it that way. Oh, we're going that way, yeah. cool. That's awesome, that's really fantastic. I really do enjoy the whole maker scene. Personally, I am just an electronic enthusiast. I mean, I've messed around with Raspberry Pis and all sorts of nonsense, but I'm, uh, I'm not a maker, but I do appreciate yeah, you're a maker. it. You're know, you, you, if you start to make something, you can call yourself, a, you, you mean, I mean like, Ba baking. I, I always tell people, people ask me, oh, how do you do this? How do you do that? I, I follow the recipe, follow the instruction. Like, I'm not an expert or anything, but I will always go to like YouTube and check people, uh, check out what, how they do the process, how they do it. So I learn from it and I just fiddle, uh, I mess around with it and do a little bit of change with the Arduino and Raspberry Pi. So we're now in the Saiga building, right? Uh, second floor. Right. It's like a building second floor. I'm showing. I'm going to buy a tool first, actually. Yeah. Okay, I let's go get some tools. Actually, this, <laughs> this is way. probably the first time I've been out in public where people are what? staring at you more than they stare at me. So this uh, is awesome. I don't awesome. think so. They they know who you are. They probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Like a jian qian. So this is the flush cutter I'm getting for the PCB cutting the PCB wire. You know, on the board. After you solder, there's wire sticking out, so you cut it. Uh, this is how much? Forty-five. This is Japanese, right? Okay. Uh, this is my favorite tool place to go whenever I used to get uh, tons of my tools here because it's cheap. You see, in from the boxes. Yeah. yeah. Although it looks like a flea market. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. But they are usable. It's not like you buy from home and then it crap like at least for a week or a month it's, it's usable. And the meter, I also I think I bought it from here. And tons of stuff. It's my one of my favorite store and the price as you can see is very reasonable. Next your friend shop. Yes. Okay. And that's the very big Arduino logo right there. Oh very nice, very nice. Okay. Wow, man, Lala. This, so this is my friend AJ MJ. Uh, MJ. 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 Okay. MJ my friend. This is his booth. Uh, yeah, you can make the uh, Arduino micro uh, five volt mega. Oh, micro. You can check out. So this is what I'm getting today. This is the Arduino micro con uh, micro five volt and it's a microcontroller like Raspberry Pi. It can do a lot of stuff, but it's not computer, computer. You cannot browse a website on there, but uh, you can use it to control LED lights. And for my project, I will show uh, in the later video. Hello, my name is MJ. I see out the Arduino and the uh, Pi 3, anything the uh, make a the rubber. This one, the, the same, the same rubber and this one. Like this one, the static kit for the pen. Okay, so guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much, Naomi, for coming thank on my you. channel. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you for it. inviting me to come along with you. Uh, no, show you my friend's booth and show you all the cool stuff in Hua Chiang Bay. Yeah, it's a very fascinating place. I think you're also a very fascinating individual. So everybody out there, if you're interested in electronics and makers and, you know, Naomi does a lot of interesting things, please go and take a look at her YouTube channel. It will be linked below and there's also a card popping up here somewhere. Go take a look, go say hi and leave a comment saying Serpent ZA sent me. Anyway, Naomi, can you please tell everybody out there to stay awesome? Stay awesome and stay tuned for the next awesome Serpent ZA video. Uh, lots of awesome videos are coming. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> So this is for you. Oh, awesome. What is that? This is the uh, essential guide to electronics in Shenzhen. My uh, friend, Huang Huang, uh, wrote this book. Uh, because you know, like you, you live in China for a long time and you speak some Chinese, it's easy for you to find stuff here. But your followers, they probably uh, don't know the characters, like don't know what to say, what uh, when they need to buy the parts and components. So this book is very good for them to navigate the, uh, in the market. So guys, before I leave you, I would like you to go and check out Seamilk's titular video about Hooters. 
He took his wife there when he was in Shanghai and it's actually quite a blast, so check it out, I think you'll enjoy it too. Anyway, you know the drill, I'll see you in the next video and as always guys, stay awesome!